Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a tactical analysis and um, lineup prediction for Malaysia versus Vietnam. So let's start off with in goal. We have Fariza. Fariza played really well the first game against uh, UAE. A lot of important saves, and I think he secured the starting keeper spot. Sport, spot. Center so back. We have Adam because. Uh, uh, Julius uh, Junior got injured, and uh, I think he's the third best centre back after Irfan making that mistake in uh, against Bahrain and conceding a penalty. So Adam at centre back with Idil, pretty simple captain, good leadership, consistent player. Uh, I think last game he didn't do too bad with uh, Dion Cools and. Uh, after good partnership with uh, Dion Cools and after he got taken off uh, 60th minute because of injury I think uh, the whole team just collapsed the whole defense just collapsed you know so very important player for Malaysia I do uh, for left back I've picked Kobe Nong I don't think there's a lot of discussion around this Kobe Nong best left back good overlapping runs for Safavi uh, yeah so um He's one of our best player last game, I would say. So, yep, he's starting against Vietnam. And right back, okay, this is where I've made some changes. We've, I've decided to go with Dion Coles instead of Matt Davis. I mean, it's pretty obvious that Dion Coles is going to play for Malaysia, but it's just which position. And I've decided that Matt Davis is going to get uh, taken off for this game. A uh, couple of reasons. Uh, from last game, we can see that Dion Coos has a really good long ball, uh, and it's a few times where he put Malaysia into a really dangerous position. His passes, his pass to Sumare. So I feel like playing him at centre back is taking away this part of his game. So we're gonna play him at right back to give him more opportunity to put those crosses in, put crosses in, put those long passes in. And uh, another reason is Matt Davis, uh, as we know, recently uh, TMJ uh, commented on his Instagram post, got mad at him for posting midnight. So uh, there's some controversy around Matt Davis right now, and I feel like uh, Tan Cheng Ho will take him off for this game. CDM with Azam. Uh, last week he played not a long time because of... Um, I think he played one uh, 45 minutes or maybe 50 uh, because of um, the polar not not doing what he needs to do and the whole team just wasn't doing well and uh, Tan Cheng Ho put put on Siafik Ahmad to um, give us more attacking option and but this game I feel like Azam should start his deep playing uh, deep lying playmaking is really important and. Uh, he's you know he's quick and we need him to cover the uh the, the long shots that Vietnam always takes, and they're really good at as we can see from the Indonesia game. So, Ajam will be CDM for me. Uh, at center mid we have Liberty Don or Mark Don because I know I know last game he didn't play well, but I feel like his height, his physical trait is really important for Malaysia. You know, having a naturalized player that is um, naturally bigger than s most Southeast Asian player, and it's gonna give us a lot of advantage for the game against Vietnam. At at uh, other center mid, left center mid, we have Brandon Brandon Gunn. He was suspended the first game because of yellow cards, but um, I think uh, one of the reasons we didn't play well against UAE is the lack of creativity, the lack of line breaking passes and we we've we've seen it from uh, the game against Thailand in 2019 Brandon Brandon Gunn's really important for going forward and attacking his creativity his passes really important player and I think he's going to come back to the lineup against Vietnam at left mid I know some people are thinking about Lukman uh but for me it's still Safawi I feel like his set piece his free kick just him cutting in from the left and shooting from the left to you know it's really important for Malaysia and 
with with he he's scored a lot of important goals. I know he's not in form right now, but I still think it's too important for this team to drop. And uh, uh, one of the he played a really good crosses into the polar in the first game, and you know I still think he's really important for Malaysia, and he needs to start at right mid. I have Sumare, the pace, the phys uh, physical size, and Working with Dion Cools, I think that that is one of the most important partnership and um, uh, for our game against Vietnam because we've seen in the first game Dion Cools playing long passes from center back to Sumare and a few times we've caught um, the defense out. So I'm looking forward to see a lot more of those passes from Dion Cools to Sumare long passes. In striker with Safik Ahmad, as we know, first game the polar horrible game from him absolutely horrible game no pressing jogging the whole time dropping too deep missing that open header awful first game so i think it, he needs to be dropped he has to be dropped um tan Cheng ho has has to drop the polar and uh as we can see from last game when selfie armor came on the whole energy the energy the intensity everything increase after it came on so I think he's earned him himself a spot in this game against Vietnam and uh, as we can see against UAE in 2019 he's got that um, area ability he's got that scoring ability you know looking forward to see some crosses from Dion Cools into the box for Selfick and just the pressing that he brings will help the team a lot Last game, we can see the polar dropping in way too deep into midfield and just being out of position the whole time. And that should have been taken off. Uh, he did not, and that's one. That's one of the reasons we lost. So yeah, this is um, uh, my starting lineup for Malaysia versus Vietnam. Thank you for watching.